I've lost my heritage! Hitler, do you know where it is? Now that we have the artifact, you can defend your words to- Oh, that's there. <laughs> I do not need to say anything more. Art Anus saw it, didn't you? You say the great Cass. It is scrambled bits and pieces of images and thoughts. I do not fully understand what I saw. I saw Kaz. He was a scholar of the Shelak. But he had nothing. Nothing. And then he found the artifact. Then everything changed and he brought peace. There were other images. I saw Zelnaga. Saw their ships descend upon Ire. It was magnificent. And then it became dark. The link connecting our people broke down. An endless void of darkness, pain, and skipped text. When the Zelnaga came to Ire, they were in a hurry, anxious to push our ancestors to their expectations. Recovered texts say that the Zelnaga were racing against an enemy, an enemy they had been fighting for several millennia. Our people played a key role in their victory over the enemy. However, because of the strife developing between our people, the Zelnaga moved on. Yes, yes, that is what I saw. But they came back. They came back to Ire. It was forgotten in history, but after Kaz established the Conclave, he left in a Zelnaga vessel and went to Alshain. There was a Protoss colony there. Privileged people taken from Ire when they fled. Kaz had restored the Protoss in their eyes, and they were going to give him a gift. Something to prepare the Protoss for the trials. We have never gotten such a detailed account before, even after years of experimentation. What else did you see? Nothing else of any importance. Importantance. No matter. I have proven my point. If it weren't for the artifact, the cause would never have risen. He did nothing. He is a fraud. You're a fraud, dude. Fraud emoji. If we go around speaking such words, things will only get worse. We all know now that Kala, Kala was not perfect. But even now, the last remaining shreds are what prevents our extinction. The longer we keep up the charade, the harder it will be for the tribes to see the error of their ways. Enough! Kaz may have not brought peace himself, but his message saved our people before, and it may do so again. This race the Zelnaga fought may be the same guiding Duran. They must have known that we would one day face them. We must go to Alshane. Perhaps there we can discover how Kaz used the artifact. Wait a minute. Now I'm glad to help you guys out, but the longer I stay, the longer Manx is in power. I have to look out for my own people. You do not understand the threat that Duran is to the entire sector. When the hybrids are ready, there will be no stopping them. I dare not even imagine how powerful they are now. I trust you, so I'll help you out. But when the time comes, I want your word that you will help me take down Manx. You have it. Bring Zeratul to the warp gate. All heroes must survive. I'm detecting protest pylons surrounding the warp gate. They have laid waste to the Zelnaga city. This means we will be facing a combination of every force imaginable. You choose your actions wisely, Executor. No. This looks like uh, a... Yeah, this lo also looks like a, a mission that was already in the game, but... Maybe this is, uh, maybe this is not the case. Hi! If all we have to do is thinking. you. Go ahead, Man, these bunkers, dude. Got some depots in front of them, you know. You know the drills. At drill on Twitter. Uh, so. Hope everybody's been uh, having a good time. Having a gay time. With this stupid campaign. Caw. I really gotta replace Caw with the. Uh, or the. the Kakaru. Kakaru. Shit with uh, a proper Caw in my sound files. Research at some point, somewhere down the line, so that I can entertain myself. Don't. Uh, yeah, stop speaking, please. That's my command, idiot. Oh, we have an academy already. Marine range. 
We start with stims for some reason. Don't say that. You're a vulture in that line. Well, we'll see what happens here, but I'm just saturating my bases for now. Oh boy, I guess we'll play Terran since we played Protoss the last map, right? Last uh, macro mission. It was very silly. We'll just use the Protoss to farm. Come on, more minerals. More minerals. More. Oh, okay, bye. Bye, Kha. I don't think our Terran bases have been attacked yet, which is a little odd. Yeah, they're mostly focusing on our uh, Protoss ones, it seems. Also, they are once again the same AI script. Oof. So I'll just build the second factory. I gotta get into the habit of actually playing this game. You know, being competent at it. Did I build that? Or Yeah, I did. I don't know why I built that. It's weird. Although, if I'm asking you if I built something that I built like five seconds ago, things are probably not... Not working, not looking too hot. Hi. Oops. Hey, man. That's all you should be saying. Hi. 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 Bye. Tell him, whatever you just said, unsay it, please. Thanks. Too bad you can't build on Basila. That's something that I would definitely change. Or I guess I will definitely change whenever I invariably make a map on that file set. Right, I'll, I'll be going primarily mech, I believe. We have double gas, so it shouldn't be no trouble at all. Gas for our sins here. And I guess I should probably put a turret over here in the off chance that they continue sending random shit and it gets close enough. We are getting Charon boosters as well, so that's fine. Hi. I don't know what they're doing. This is clearly an island, but... I mean, it doesn't really seem like it would be that difficult Let's to just this over with. roll in there and annihilate them, so... I don't... I don't really know... There's got to be a second phase to this, which is why I'm being a little more cautious, otherwise I would just suicide a bunch of units in there, as per usual. What's going on? You guys are just laughing at the enemy? Oh, yeah, that's right. We could always recall some tanks if we need them back at the uh, other base. Yeah, it's almost like I've played this game before in my life. Dude. What do you want me to say? I think that was weapons level 1 for infantry. Um, depot here. We're not really in any danger of needing another depot, but... Upgrade that was that was infantry. What was the other? Oh, Karen boosters maybe. I always forget that that takes a long time, comparatively. Oh yeah, maybe we can get more than one pylon. Grab a couple extra cannons on this side since it seems like it's being pressured mildly. Uh, yeah, we can send these guys up here. I guess. No, no, Zerg here actually. 
Please get your line right next time. Thanks. Oh wait, what am I doing? Just let move that, and then we'll be in in business. Ah! That's satisfying, I suppose. Oops. Sounds like you've already got a plan. Even with Zeratul, I'm tempted to just keep, keep him in the back of the base, even though theoretically he's pretty safe. Sounds like you've already got a plan. Bye. Uh, do I have an SCV idol? No. This is why we definitely need some Goliaths. I mean, I guess there's something to be said for, like, uh, the strategy of having unbuildable high ground, right? Because, like, it doesn't let me just put turrets up there. But uh, I think that's more so solved by... ...having, uh... ...the AI be a bit more competent with, uh, tackling that stuff, right? Zerg have queens enabled, by the way. In case anybody was wondering. As ten of them fly into my base. And even then, if you wanted to reduce buildability on it selectively, you could just do that with doodads. That'd be what I would do in that case. Uh, don't have a whole lot of space here for depots and such. So. Just making some more room in the base. Without walling off. But yeah, I mean, we could just sit here with, uh... Oh, you know what we should do, if we were gonna do this? We should also use the Protoss for, uh... Some special technology. Like, uh, observers. And I guess we can bring the Danamoth over there at some point. There's probably, like, a lot of shit in the middle of the map, which I guess, since we're not really spending too much, um... We have a couple of extra minerals lying around. I, I think it'll be okay if we... ...invest a bit more in, uh, a bunch of zealots or whatever. Alright. With this army, I mean, I get I don't actually think I can exit the base right now, so maybe I do just recall this army and then bring this around to the uh. Yes, sir. Destination. There you go. This should be a pretty epic uh army. Alright, let's fuck them up, dude. Wherever they are. Oh, hi. How's it going? I forgot to get any upgrades at all for these guys, because I wasn't thinking I was going to be using them. Uh huh. Where did all my uh, Goliaths go? I have one left. They all died to what exactly? Fuck him up, dude. Mm. Alright, I guess we need more gateways. We really should have just recalled SCVs down here to build, uh... Some factories. But as long as we're not doing that, I suppose we can, uh... That's such a bizarre base layout, but we smashed a bunch of uh, static de defense, so I guess that'll be okay. Just a little on the uh, unfortunately homosexual side. You know what I'm saying? 
Sorry, I said I wouldn't try. I try not to be racist, but can't help but hate the gays, you know. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Hopefully, nobody else does either, because if they do, then they could use that against me. So I think uh, zealots probably don't work too well with tanks, but I don't know who would have been able to tell me that. I think if they have enough shield and armor upgrades, they'll, they'll actually be fine. This guy's ready for another recall. Get some more tanks on the way. Rest of our gateway as well, kindly. Let's pump out zealots. Actually, back up here. Alright. Zealot, zealot. Thanks. Yes, okay. sir. Oh, we should definitely be ordering up better upgrades as well. <laughs> Quite the phalanx we've got going on here. And we definitely need observers as well, that's another thing we need. Some sort of detection that isn't tied to one command center's energy value. Thanks. Thanks. At least today you have to rebuild them, I guess. Destination. You come over here and hug this guy. Well, yes, sir. Can you hug him? Yeah. Wow. Some real s silly shit happening over here, huh? Uh, oh, yeah, and I need to send an SCV into that area. I'm sure he's at max energy now. Maybe a couple of SCVs. Perfection. Let's get him out of there. And I actually took up most of the space, so we'll build down here. Get plague. Send a couple of our extra zealots in that direction, I guess. Alright, cool. Oh wait, fuck, I re unhockeyed all of the uh, tanks. I can't believe we have only one goddamn... Uh, Yeah, I don't know, I can't... Whatever, only one goddamn something. That was my... Oh, Necron. Pulling back a little bit here. Oh, the Spore Colony is in within range. We have more Zealots in the waiting in the wings here. What's going on? Kill him. Job. Proud of you. Don't die to scourge, please. Those poor, poor guardians. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, they went the completely different direction than I expected. Oops. Perfect. I don't have to look at either of them anymore. 
Well, I mean, this is actually pretty satisfying, even though it's there's nothing really happening and I'm not actually required to focus at all. So pretty cool, I guess. Certainly uh, an improvement from everything else that we've been playing in this campaign, I think. I can comfortably say that. I don't know if you can say that about my gameplay, but I am at least enjoying myself a bit more. And I'm actually making some use out of a hero, which is another really exciting element. Oops. Fuck him up, dude. They're trying to plague something. Oh, there's another ramp up. Probably suicided a bunch of units in that direction. Fuck. Just uh, hold your horses there, buddy. Yeah, get him. Got him. Oh! Yeah, I might actually kill all the bases on, by my own volition. Just to see what happens. Although hopefully we don't end up in another one of those goofy-ass situations where we uh, cleared the whole map and then all that's left for us is like a bunch of really silly shit where we're waiting for about five minutes. That did happen in one of the missions like, not so long ago, actually. So. It's not... As ludicrous as it sounds, probability was. Sure, you guys can go kill yourself. I don't have any need for you. Uh, did we ever get observers? No, we did not. Okay. Good to know. Uh, you can come over here and give me another photon cannon. They just killed themselves at the other ramp. That's fine. We have, we've got to break through that somehow. Alright. Fuck him up, dude. One thing I wish Blizzard didn't do was reuse the projectile for the, uh, or the, the graphic for the weapon hit of the, of Tassadar's attack. Uh, also the default High Templar attack that got cut from the game. Um, the... Uh, siege tank, siege uh, tank mode attack, and the ghost attack. Because if the game runs out of sound channels, as it is likely to do, and has done several times already, based on these fights that we're experiencing, then you would see some really silly shit. Uh, like, you, you don't really know. If you were using multiple units that are in that vein, you know, you. Really? You still couldn't even kill him after all that? Somebody backfire. Mm. Get turned on. 360. Ah! My worst nightmare! Stop it! So, I don't know why red stuff was over here. It doesn't seem like red is an active AI at all. So there's that. I mean, they've got dropships. So, something's going on over here. Oh yeah, that's another thing, is they reused the sound for scout attacks, uh, goliath air anti-air attacks, uh, scout anti-air air attacks, and missile turret attacks. I think any time a developer reuses an asset, be it an audio or visual, it really screws with readability. And I would always uh, advise against it, because of stuff like that. Like, if I can't add a, add a glance or a listen or whatever, know what's going on here. There he is. Yeah. It's just very, very dangerous territory. Those things are perpetually plagued somehow. Alright, start getting shields. Take these replacement tanks. 
Uh, is there one that's hiding over here somewhere? Yeah. Okay. I guess I'll move an observer in that direction just for the fuck of it. Where's my observatory? It's down here somewhere, right? Grab the sight range increase. See one there. Yeah, I don't know where the um the next sets of enemies actually are. Oh, Red is an AI script. He's over here, but he's not doing anything. So we can just come down this area and annihilate him, probably. I guess I should get a shield battery for my hero. Be on the safe side. I mean, I did just look back in here and see all these units and think, oh, I guess I don't really need to be worried about any safe sides. Huh? I have so much money, I haven't even bothered to expand yet. And I'm at the cap for Protoss right now, so I'll rebuild some pylons. And take this opportunity to set up a base. Uh, probably a turn one, with the SUVs that I recalled over here. Um, right. Shield battery, and I am going to move him back. Get him. Fuck him up, dude. These uh, really small engagements are kind of charming in a way, but it's not really something you would expect from uh, uh, Mission 12, which is what we're on right now, I believe, so. As charming as they can be, it doesn't really feel like it's contributing too much to the discussion overall. Um, so I guess we'll scan the other end now. We'll find the Zerg base. Zerg here. And these guys seem much more docile, although they were running the same script. So all they're doing right now is plaguing stuff. Which is very funny. So why don't you guys come over here? Alright, we'll take the middle here. Bagelass! I don't know why there's a Bagelass there. What planet are we on? Is there a, Has there been an explanation for that? We might be reactivating yellow here. They've also been docile. It's a, a very regular occurrence on stuff like this, is that the AI will just flat out break, it seems. Come on. Fuck him up. Get rid of him, dude. They're actually using Dark Templar, which is a uh, step up, I guess. Punishing me for not bringing my Observer, which is right there. Thankfully, in this case. But, like, I wasn't really strapped for anti-detection for a while. I could use one commsat this whole fucking time. I mean, they, d they definitely have the ability to still build units, right? They're just not for some reason. Though I wish they were to be a, um, an AI or something with more uh, potential to use uh, like Dark Archons or something. So I think there was actually an expansion. I mean, I, I have no way to, of knowing that for sure without opening up the map, but... It doesn't strike me as a typical AI base. That was like, would be, or rather, a typical pre place base. It does strike me as a typical AI base. What an idiot, dude. Uh, oh, bringing the DT around. And he got fucking eviscerated. Did I slow down the game speed or something? Feels like it. I only lost one tank that whole fucking fight? That's crazy. Oh, you guys never built the base. I got distracted. 
My bad. I understand. Yeah. Why don't you understand over there? Hmm? Try that one. All right, we're just gonna aim over this orange base, even though it's completely unnecessary. And I'll just recall Zeratul when I'm ready for that. Upgrade complete. What do we have? Shields level two coming up, and we will continue to. How many fucking hits did he have to take there? That's so cool. There's all the tanks that I knew I was going to lose. Fucking annihilated. What else is standing in our way at this point? There's really not that much, so I don't know where the difficulty in this was supposed to come from. Again, I'm... Did I just hear a... Pretty sure I just heard what sounds like an awful lot, like... Oh, uh, it was that one. I thought it was a completely different player, or a different, different character. It sounded like a Duke transmission or something. Oh, they're rebuilding cannons. Right, we definitely need more Goliaths, mostly, at this point. And a lot of shuttles. Uh, we also did not even make a dent in this base, apparently. So I guess I'll have to micro them a little bit better. Whoa! This is a pretty big attack. Where'd all my units go? Apparently they fucking suicided. Into some meat grinder somewhere. That, that almost looks like a custom attack, honestly. It does not look like a campaign insane or whatever. It obviously was not insane. It was insanely fucking boring is what it was. Uh, Sounds like you've already got a Yes, sir. Identify target. Uh, oh, they're just spinning. Forgot they have no way out. Oh, I had a third one this whole time? That's funny. Oh, we got one of them. That's pretty funny. What is going on over here? WHAT?! Fucking Christ, they masked carriers on me, dude! Alright, well, we're gonna go with a bit of a different approach, and we'll just uh, recall him there and see what happens. I hear you. Justice is at hand. I read you. Man, what a stupid map. <laughs> Changed my tune pretty quick. Alright, this is where we, uh, we have a little investigation. I honestly expected there to be a wall in my way, but I was uh, gravely mistaken. I mean, he has so many shields. I'm amazed that uh, this is the way it is. Also, they were created without... Uh, well, the ghosts weren't, but Rainer was created, and he wasn't created as a unit with properties, so he doesn't start out with his full mana bar, which is... Uh, Kind of funny to me. Really? 
Missing control terms and I understand. Very well. Very well. All right, well, fuck you, dude. Like I can just walk in. I. It is done. The warp gate is activated. Actived. Sorry. Oh, hi. The crystal is beginning to vibrate. It sounds like chimes. Music. The warp gate is reacting to it. The Zelnaga's gift must be through the gate. Whatever is through there does not belong to you, Zeratul. It is the Dark Templar tribes, and I am here for it. So you are behind this shake. I should have known. Is there no end to your McDonald's? Do not preach to me, Zeratul. I am following the will of the fallen matriarch who you killed. You are the most treacherous of all. Because of me, our tribe will be dawning upon a new age soon. But I will not allow you or these aliens to destroy everything. You are right, Shake. I forfeited my right to lead our McDonald's a long time ago. My responsibility is not solely to my tribe anymore, but to a bigger cause. I killed Rashigal. I had no right. What are you saying, Zeratul? My crimes will be judged by the gods when the time comes, but in the meantime I must work to make it right what I have done. Ardanus, go through the warp gate. But I shall guard you from the rear. Go. Now. Oh, that was actually the whole mission. Okay, well, good. glad that I could show a demonstration of what the map could be if you weren't a prankster. And uh, yeah, there you go. That was the whole thing. I can't believe that was real. Holy fucking shit.